Welcome once again to my class. Today we are going to be looking at terminologies in genetics. Some key words you need to know why studying genetics. The first is heredity. Heredity is simply the passing of genetic factors from parents to offsprings or from one generation to the next. So look at this picture carefully. The father is affected with hemophilia and he has successfully passed down this trait to two of his progenies in the next generation. For heredity, when Gregor Mendel was doing his experiments, you could see the passing of traits. For variation, variation is simply the differences in biodiversity from cellular to community levels. Differences among species between two different organisms and the likes. So we have genotypic variation and phenotypic variation. For the genotypic variation, it's caused by genetic differences or genetic factors between the DNA of organisms. And then for the phenotypic variation, it's caused by environmental factors. Notice it's not by genetic factors. Examples are physical appearances, metabolism, reproduction, mode, and fertility, and so many others. Traits. Traits is a characteristic of an organism. They are determined by genes or an environmental factors. That means it can be both by genes or an environmental factors. So traits can be qualitative or it can be quantitative. So for the qualitative traits, you need to bear these things in mind. There are traits that can be selected into categories. You can classify them into various classes. You cannot measure them. You cannot measure blood group. But you can say this, is, this belongs to blood group A, a, B, B, and O. This is color, is it that yellow or this? Sex, is it that biologically male or female? Eye color, is it that this or this? You cannot measure. That's why it's called qualitative traits. But for the quantitative traits, you can measure them. They're actually caused by polygenic effects. That means they are controlled by many genes. So, examples are height, weight, things you can measure. I want you guys to try and do this thinking activity. It will help you a lot. Take your time. You can pause the video. So the fourth is allele. An allele is also called an allelomorph. It's an, an alternate form of a gene or a gene variant. Look at this allele. There's a capital letter T for shortness and T for tallness. So when they come together, they form a diploid short individual. For the genotype, genotype is a combination of alleles for a particular trait. It's also called the genetic makeup of a trait. So if I combine capital letter T and small letter T, I will have a new genotype, TT. That is the genetic makeup. So genotype can either be homozygous dominant. These are also key terminologies. You can research them on your own, heterozygous and homozygous recessive. They are also key terminologies, but for, the, for this class, I'm just going to highlight them. For your phenotype, your phenotype means the physical appearance of a trait. These are some of the things you were hearing from your history class, like red color and all of that. So look at this. This is the phenotype of the flower, but their genotype are, diff are different. One is homozygote, dominant. The other one is just heterozygote. Genetic drift. Genetic drift is the change in frequency of an allele in a population due to random chance. Please take note of that. For example, we can see that there are different colors in the gene pool. That means different alleles. But something happened. There's all called the bottleneck effect. It may be a natural disaster like hunting, fire, or a disease wiping out an entire population. Only few individuals with few genes will make it to the next population. Apart from the bottleneck effect, the Fanda effect is also there. For the Fanda effect, let's say some, there's a migration that occurs, like some organisms in a population move to new locations, like the human population, for example. You will discover that people that are localized in a particular region has a certain type of genetic variation. So for penetrance, penetrance is the degree to which a particular genotype has penetrated the population. If everybody had blue eyes, would have said that the trait for blue eyes is 100% penetrant. Expressivity is the degree to which that particular trait is expressed. Like, even though we talk about blue eyes, the blue eyes will be expressed differently for the human population, as you can see here. 
And so pedigree, pedigree is a diagrammatic symbolic representation of family history in genetics. You will see a lot of symbolic representation, like the male is like a square or a rectangle, the female is a circle. When they are affected, they have a dark color or any other color. When they meet, there is a line joining both of them together. For the next generation or marriage, there is a line showing number one and number two for the generations, identical twins and all of that. So some of the honorable mentions, gene. Gene is the fundamental unit of heredity. Genome is the entire set of DNA found in itself. Gene flow is the movement of individuals and the genes they carry from one population to another. And so you should also know that the gene pool, like we've said earlier, when we're doing um, the genetic drifts, all alleles in the reproducing population or species. Polygenes, a group of genes that produce one phenotype when expressed together. And so we also have some other terminologies such as gene frequency, the percentage of a gene in a population, test cross, a cross between a heterozygote and a recessive homozygote individual. All of these are terminologies you need to understand. Locus, the plural is loci, a position or, or location on the chromosome for a particular alley. Mutation just simply means genetic changes. Epistatus, two alleys on different loci, when they interact together and they result in the masking of one and the expression of the other, we say epistatus as, epistasis rather, as a cause. <laughs>